I'm Mark. I'm Gene Baker, and welcome to Baker's Acres. I'd like to have you meet my son, Dennis. Hi, Hi. Mark. How are you? And my son, Robert. How do you do? Good, good. What's Baker's Acres? Baker's Acres, well, that's our family farm corporation, and we grow corn and soybeans, and we also raise swine. Is this the same corn that you feed to your pigs? Uh, yes, except that uh, the corn we feed to our pigs has been dried artificially, and you see it's taken off the cob. How does it grow? Well, when we plant this seed, approximately the first week in May, we have to have good soil, sunlight, and moisture. That seed will represent this stalk, and the kernels are formed through a process of pollination, mm -hmm. and this these tassels on here, there's one for each kernel. That is the female part of the corn. There's one of these tassels right here for every kernel? For every kernel. Here. Now, the male is the tassel on the top of the corn, and the pollen, which is the male sperm, so to speak, fertilizes each one of these kernels through the cells. So one of these kernels represents a stalk, this big stalk here. Plus this ear corn. Plus this Sometimes ear corn. Sometimes two ears of corn. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. And this is the male part, and it fertilizes this, which is the female part. part yes. Which helps to develop each kernel along right. the cob. That part did not get fertilized. Uh-huh. Is there any particular reason why up top it doesn't get fertilized? The, it might have been too tight. Not enough air or something. And there's different factors involved. Mm -hmm. I'll throw a little thing out for you. You will not find an ear of corn with an uneven number of rows on it. This way around? Right. Okay, I'll start here. One, two, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Right. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Pigs reproduce in sort of the same way as corn. Except, of course, that the male and female pigs are two separate individuals. The male and female mate. The male fertilizes the female, and about 15 weeks later, the babies are born. <laughs> How old are they? They're 24 hours old. The sow moved into the stall two days ago. Uh -huh. She had her pigs yesterday. They're a little uncoordinated yet. Yeah. Stagger around and aren't sure of their footing. Right. But they still have the ability to, to get up there and, and get some mama's nose. So they can see pretty good when they... Oh, yes. Yes. It seems like they hit the ground hungry, and, and the first, first instinct is to get around and, and get some of that milk. Yeah. You may not have known this, but pigs establish a pecking order starting almost at birth. What does that mean? Well, that means that the, the biggest, strongest pig will try to nurse off the forward portion of the sow's udder because that portion gives more milk. As we move down the udder, Often, the very smallest pig ends up at the rear portion of the theater. They're beautiful. They're a little ornery. Uh -huh. uh, a little. They aren't aggressive. They, they can nip you. They have very sharp teeth. Uh -huh. And this is, a, this is a little gilt. That doesn't hurt? No, this is how we hold with a pig. Really? That's how you carry pigs from place to place. Uh, unfortunately, you can only do it till they get so big, and, and, and size is a factor. But we do mark uh, the little pigs as uh, future females to go back into the herd.